This screencast training video shows how you set up the eChem software to do cyclic voltammetry. First you connect the potentiostat to the eCorder as described in the manual and then open up the eChem software. In the menu technique you click cyclic voltammetry and this is where you enter the parameters for your experiment. A good way of viewing what's going to happen is to click on view and this shows a diagram showing the, showing the experiment. You start with the limits, so the upper limits, lower limits, and the initial voltage here. So the software is going to start at minus 500 millivolts, go up to plus 500, and then back down to minus 500. With the rate I've chosen here, 100 millivolts per second, this experiment is going to take 20 seconds. To go up and down, the voltage is going to take this staircase, and you can define the width of the step so 10 milliseconds here and the height of the step 1 millivolt here. The software is going to take 2000 of these steps to go up and down. The red part is the sampling period. This is when the software records the current and at the moment it's been set to 2 milliseconds. You can change this of course. This is where you enter the number of cycles. I'm going to start off with just one cycle. The deposition and clean time are not normally used. Uh, they allow you to uh, apply a fixed potential. When you're ready to run, you click OK. I'm going to start with a range of 100 milliamp. This is the maximum. And I'm going to click Start. This tick is moving across the screen, and uh, when it reaches the end, it'll be finished. At all times, the software is displaying the time in here, the current, and the voltage here. So when the run is finished, the save as box comes up. You can uh, type in a name, and you can double click to get the zero in the center, and use this button to expand the axis. Now you can see that the range I've chosen, 100 milliamps, the, uh, there's not a lot of shape to this cyclic voxamogram. I need to change the range. I'm going to lower it to say 50 microamps and I'm going to run again. At this new reduced range, you can see the shape of the cyclic voxamogram is much better. I can see some shape. Now that that run is finished, uh, we have our first run here, which I'm going to delete. Uh, to do that, you select it, go to Edit, and Cut. And that's cut that run from our file. I'm going to show you now how you can do several runs. You go to Technique, Cyclic Voltammetry. I'm going to do three cycles, and I'm going to increase the rate to 400, just so you can see what's happening. If I click on view, you can see now it's going to take 5 seconds to do each cycle. I'm also going to show you how you can overlay the runs. If you go to display and overlay all, now when I click start, you can see the software has prepared three runs for the cycles I'm going to do. And it finishes one it displays the others in pink underneath. So that's how you set up the eChem software for cyclic voltammetry.